So, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Sam from Team Sam X right here. Who am I with today? Steven, baby. The Pet God. Doom Light Champion. Two, two time Doom Light Champion. Yo, Steven, I have a question. So, What's good? you called me today. You're like, Sam, there's one card that changed pendulums forever. And you truly believe that this deck is like, what? Tier one or is it tier zero? Like, what do you think? I know that I always say it's like the best deck, and I know like so this time is gonna be very brutally honest. It's it's not the best deck. It's the best deck of all time. It's the best deck right now. I don't care what anyone has to say. Ah, Sam, Sam, what deck have you been playing? We've been, we've been playing right now, me and Sam for two hours. Doing like two, three hours, right? Yeah. So what deck were you playing, by the way? I was playing um, sword, 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 yeah, sword trash, sword soul. That's what he was playing. Yo, that. guys, I'm not gonna lie, your deck is insane, man. Bro, I, it's I so know. good, and honestly, like. I know we're joking about his best deck, but honestly, it probably is. Like, it's actually so so powerful, and I'll show you guys why. For the first time since Electrum, Pendulums basically have a one-card combo, and it's absolutely insane. So we'll discuss everything in depth, and it's going to blow your mind. I went undefeated at Locals just the other day. Went undefeated again at this tournament I played online. It's just so good. If you guys want to support my channel, I'd appreciate it a lot. I have a channel about Pendulums mainly called Trip Gaming. It'll be down in the description if you guys want to check it out. Subscribe down below, guys. Here we go. Let's go. So first things first. Uh, double Joker, you need to play three Sork as well. The reason why is this is heavily reliant on Pendulum Magicians, okay? What Pendulum Magicians do with three Iris and two Joker is actually outstanding. And the fact that Harmonizing turns into Baronis the floor with one Oaf Dragon, go Harmo, Special Oaf Dragon, get Baronis, all your plays resolve freely. You play around your beer, you play around everything. All you want to make sure is that you have access to Wisdom Mine. And the way you get access to Wisdom Mine is by Joker. And Sork gets the Joker. Alliance gets the Sork, which gets the Joker. They all get each other. It's incredible. Wow. So you want to play as much as access to Wisdom Mine because that's what gets you. The ma Magicians actually win you the game. And that is double Iris Magician. The fact that it's at three is insane. This is, I can't, I still, like when you play more and more, you'll find so many tricks with this card going second where you just normal Joker, you use Iris effect to add the pen graph. You scale the pen graph. You use Black Fang effect to special something back. Maybe a Magician Souls. Trigger pen graph, get another pen graph. It just goes on and on and on and on. The stuff you can do with this deck going second. And a lot of the duels when I was facing against Sword Soul going second against Sam, like I didn't use much side cards. Like I'm literally just playing six pendulum cards, clearing a board of four or five interruptions. Right. Only because of the magicians itself. The utility of the magicians are so insane. Uh is magicians better than Deviant? Well? Yeah, honestly, by a landslide. Like this is the best way to play pendulums. And if you're playing a combo deck, and if you guys don't want to play a new deck, Use this, like honestly, for like a hundred dollar deck, the deck could be so budget if you wanted to. You get this whole deck main side and extra for under a hundred dollars easily. Wow. Actually, I lied, Baronis the floor is like 150. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Except for that card, but you probably do need that, not gonna lie. Uh three ultra again, and then one poison, one black bank. So with these, these are the sc much scales you want to end up in your scales, okay? Poison is a garnet going first, so you don't really need it, but sometimes it does come up. Black Bank also comes up with cool plays going second. So you want to keep cool, both of these just one of each, but these are the main ones that you want. Old Dragon adding back makes sure you do cool plays with Zeus. I'll explain later when we do a little, little combos. Now these are cards you want to mainly Pendulum Summon. That's Harmo and Celestial Magician. Celestial just gets you a Joker at the end phase, and you always want it uh, in the graveyard or in your uh, hand, summoning back and forth the extra deck. So you keep getting it back and forth. These are the ones you want to summon. And that's it for the main Magicians, okay? You want to play a bunch. You don't want to play Dark Room. You don't want to play Curtain Razor. The only scales you want are Magicians. That's it. Because Magicians is what triggers what probably makes this deck so amazing. And that's Tuning Magician, okay? Tuning Magician is three. so... Three. Yes, 100%. It's so good. It basically makes it so Glow Bulb wasn't banned. And, and you could play Needle Fiber. How you're supposed to play Needle Fiber. The plays that you could do, even as Sam. So I was doing this play. We had like a massive board. And I tried to bait that I was going into Zeus as my be-all end-all, okay? All I had on the field was one time start. I enter battle, he goes, oh, droplets, now you can't summon Zeus. I'm like, that's fine. I used time start to search, like he was trying to like watch out and watch out. Long story short, I baited him with this card, special that access coded everything. You do so many cool plays with this card in time start. Uh, it goes to the graveyard, it goes to the field. It's just absolutely incredible what this card does. You'll see later and you'll see when I win the YCS with it. So I'm sure you guys will see some of those as well. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, more extenders are the one souls. I'm just playing one because time star searches it. You can play three if you want. I'm like, it's I have three. I'm just playing one because time star searches it. Chronograph. These are more extenders and uh, time gazer. So uh, sword soul is a deck that almost everyone's gonna be playing now. You need to draw a pen call or a way to time gazer to protect your scales. That way, if you open chronograph or even time gazer, you just summon it on the field. Your pen call, you protect your scales and you pen summon. Once you pen summon, you the duel's over. And one luster. The reason why you play one luster is to play around hand traps and interruptions. You wanna make needle fiber before your pen summon. So since you have 
so many of these extenders uh, in another version with three souls you also want to wait into a tuner so to make sure you wait the tuner Duelist Alliance can search this as a tuner and it's also cool that Luster Pendulum or Ignister can bring this out right uh, to shuffle an issue and then go into Needle Fiber with the Luster and the Ignister uh, and lastly the car that makes it so broken is Scythe so wow. with Grown to Floor coming out this Scythe Turbo backed up with Pengraph with, and, and Negate and follow up for days so you guys uh, like there's so many cool plays you can do with the Pengraph to protect your Scythe even Dropless doesn't reject so in a scenario here where Brone is the floor, by the way, let me tell you guys something. Pops your own double Irish magician. Okay, it's ridiculous. So when you end up with a board of Brone the floor, needle fiber, a, a way to pop your own scythe, Degda, pen graph. It's very easy to do this pen call to make sure your scales don't die, and your opponent is gonna be like, Haha, I have droplets. Uh, bro, bro, no, you don't. He's gonna droplets. Uh, uh, let's say I have tornado dragon, right? So I go stat a drop phase, tornado dragon, pop my scythe. Or start pop myself, he's like, no, no, I'm gonna droplets. So I'll be like, oh, is that so? Activate pen graph. Pen graph effect to pop your droplets and to pop my magician in the scale. Because you activate pen call, it can't die. And then you can read the last line, and this all happened in the exact same chain. It doesn't happen at the end of the chain. It happened in the same chain we're resolving this trap card. The last part sends a card in your side of the field to the graveyard. So you send your own tornado dragon to the graveyard. Now it is not no longer on the field. So the droplets cannot be used to negate the, the tornado dragon that is in the graveyard. So now its effect resolves popping your scythe. So they wasted their droplets and your scythe resolves. What if uh, what if I, I, I save the droplet for the scythe? Uh, then all you're doing is wasting 15 seconds of your life because it's going to be the exact same result. So let us proceed, baby. It's insane. And the, oh, because Pengraph could just send It'll just send our own, my own scythe, yeah. Wow. And even if you're trying to like wait a little bit, let's say you're waiting for me to like uh, put monsters in the field, I could pop your own actual monster and then still save my scythe. There's a lot of random cool plays. And then Imperm, you got Brone to protect. You got so many ways to protect. And so, Baron the, the, the Flare is the card that makes his deck a thousand times better. Baron the Floor breaks Pendulums. Literally, I don't need Electrum anymore. If Electrum came back, it would make it a whole other level. But with Baron the Floor, it, we officially have a new Electrum, basically. Because it pops your It skills. pops your own card. It negates a card so your plays go through. Massive beat stick to do, put uh, pressure on your opponent. And on top of that, if you really need to, specials back a tuner from your graveyard to just redo the same thing with Needle Fiber. It, it's just ridiculous. It's actually insane. Uh, and yeah, just a, a few spells. We played three desires. One thing I want to mention is, yes, if, if one of these gets banished, that's fine. One one gets banished, that's fine. If both get banished, you screw. So in the scenario where you really want to resolve this and your hand's insane, get one of them out first. But chances are, if your desires, for one, you're not going to banish them if you ask your desires politely not to banish it. And just, what's just, just, just ask politely. Just ask them. We're the pendulums. We play pendulums. We're good. We're fine. Don't worry, it won't banish it. You're Wait, fine. So can you tell us the chant that you, you talked to your desires before? I just give it a kiss. <laughs> Every real duelist knows this. And then next we play one spell pen graph as well. Oh, so you're, you're, your deck doesn't lose to Droll. Yeah, so the cool thing with Droll is my opponent Droll's me, I'm like, bro, thank you so much for getting rid of a card in your hand. Uh, Cause it doesn't do anything. Actually it doesn't do anything whatsoever. Uh, there's a combo I'm gonna show at the end that plays around Droll that puts up Baron de Floor with Scythe resolving easily. So if your opponent can't play through Scythe, He's definitely not playing the Scythe and Baronis. Right. That, it doesn't even matter what about Droll. It just doesn't matter. Right. And the last spells we play are these five. So even if, like these are the only eight cards that Droll hurts. That's it. I don't care. What are you going to draw? Even if I draw three of them, you still lose. You just pen call the first one away and it doesn't matter. Droll does nothing. Uh, and that's it for the main deck. I'll show the combo at the end that you guys can see what I mean. It's actually, it's so good. It's actually right. so broken. Right. And I don't understand when out of nowhere this Magician deck got so insane. Like it blows and Demian out of the water and it that for sure blows every other trash combo deck out of the water. It's just the best way to play Pendulums and any combo deck. So now the extra deck, uh, I'm proxying one card. It's a deck that this is Artemis. Okay, this is just the link one that Invoked also play. Just to uh, get rid of one of your uh, Magicians. Uh, two Needle Fiber, two Selene. The reason why you don't play two Needle Fiber, two Selene is that going first, you have to play around Nibiru sometimes. You want to go into Needle Fiber, Selene, Appalooza in this order. And then going second, you want to make sure you have access code. So going second, you still want to make sure you have Needle Fiber, Selene, access code. Oh, wow. Jeez. Even going second sometimes, if your opponent has a board full of monster negates, uh, and they're like, okay, let me be very careful with my negates, you still go Needle Fiber, Selene, Appalooza first. And then after you Pendulum Summon. Appalooza's things are three downwards, so are Selene's. Some plays are you just, you're literally throwing your hand at your field, knowing that you're gonna summon under these three. So two Selene does come up, two Needle Fiber. Two Needle Fiber absolutely 1000% is required. If anything, you can play one Selene, but it comes up actually quite a lot in grind games. Awesome. And then XYZ's you play uh, one Time Star, one Tornado, one Dweller, and then one Zeus. 
Uh, Zeus is extremely, extremely, extremely important. There are scenarios where you're forced to actually go Time Star, try and get your opponent to negate it. That's what you're trying to get your opponent to do. Get its effect to add. If they drop Blitz, that's fine. You just go into Zeus afterwards. So you just want to make sure that Zeus comes up a lot, especially because Celestial adds it in phase. If Time Star adds it, just Skulker by Joker. All right, so you have two scales in hand, like a Joker and Wisdom Eye. Then you just Zeus everything. You're right. fine. Like right. sometimes this is re what's required, especially when you get Pen Graph. So it comes up very often. And then the Synchros are TG1 and Magician with the Needle Fiber. I'll show the combo at the very end. The reason why is that this goes into Baronis the floor. As I was telling you guys, this and Scythe, they're both level five, so they go to Baronis. Once Scythe negates the opponent, and this is what really blows, Pendulum blows everything under the water. And then you play also, lastly, one Ignister. Ignister helps play through a lot of stuff, pop your Iris, stuff like that. It's very cool. I'm gonna go side deck for one second, super fast, because I can't stress how important this is. Uh, I have a question for you guys. Whoever has faced Sword Soul before, uh, Sam could write a, write a book on this. Uh, if your board gets Dark Ruler no more, you only have one pop two. Yeah, and then you had a pen call effect. Your scales are protected. All right, pen five. GG. So Every single deck this format's a combo deck this gets destroyed by one of these. And pen call would just discard one if you have an extra one. Souls will discard an extra Dark Ruler. It's very important to play these. You don't need your normal summon. Yeah, side out all the Jokers and Sorcerers for these. It's very, very important. I can't stress it enough. If you're playing eight, you're, you're a moron. You gotta play literally all nine. Like, you just need to open one of them. Yeah. And, like, you just need to. And if you do, you just auto win. If you don't, sometimes you lose. Despite the fact that Pendulum's cleared Sword and Soul's board multiple times without it, why why stress yourself out? Especially against Drytron. Against Drytron, you need to see one of those nine. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, and you see one, you win. You see three, you win. You see two, you win. As long as you don't drop five, but you'll still win. Now against Backer Dex, playing three Denko, Red Reboot, Feather Duster, and that's it for back row. And then I just play one called by, but you probably don't need it. So that's it for the, the actual deck list. Now I'm gonna show you guys the combo that makes this deck so broken. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you guys for this combo tutorial is the most basic of basic combos. Typically, you're, you're, you're just all protected with the pen graph, with more negates, multiple negates. But this is the basic combo to show you guys what this really means when harmonizing it's in the field. So let's say your opponent baits out you know he ashes your desires he imperms your joker whatever okay pendulum one harmonizing magician effect summon any magician out of your deck okay doesn't matter summon double iris okay now the two of these are gonna there's all the one harmonizing magician what what it could do you go into needle fiber the needle fiber effect will not bring out the card that i told you actually breaks this deck and that is tuning magician now at this point you're gonna think oh what do you do next you link cross the band you're not doing it with the Selene. No, no, no. Screw Selene. You don't need it right now. It's fine. What you do at this point is you link summon into Artemis Magician. This is the link one that you just make with any spellcaster. You just go, it's a link one. Artemis, guys. Artemis, Artemis. Yes, Artemis, the same one that invoke play. And then since you have two, the only scales in your whole deck are magicians for this specific reason. You now have special back to Tuning Magician from the graveyard. And now you take these two and you put those two. The, the tuning magician would get in and get banished. You put that into artifact deck though. And now what you do is you just pass your turn. Typically you're gonna have Baronis the floor here. Typically you're gonna have a time pen graph here, something along those lines. But in such a basic format, this is what you do, you pass. Okay, All right? your opponent makes any move and then you say, I'm gonna activate Needle Fiber's effect. Your opponent will proceed to cry. And then you're gonna summon TG1, um, you're gonna attempt to use its effect. Then Dagda on the opponent's turn will be channeling two. Cause you're gonna use Needle Fiber's channeling one, Dagda channeling two. And then this, We'll summon out Artifact Scythe. So we'll set, set Artifact Scythe. And then Needle Fiber will bring out TG1 and Magician. This is just the most basic one card combo, right? Typically you protect it, like I said, with Pen Graph or the Baronis, but here TG1 and Magician will pop the Art Artifact Scythe. Artifact Scythe will trigger on the opponent's turn. Your opponent's probably gonna cry. Let him cry a little longer, but before he finishes crying, you're gonna, and then after Scythe resolves, you're gonna activate TG1 and Magician effect again, where you're gonna Synchro Summon on your opponent's turn with these two to bring out the big boy. Baron the floor. Wow. And even in this scenario too, let's say like they have Chalice or something like that, you just chain TG, right? Yeah, so in, in this scenario, uh, well, I would assume that they would Chalice the uh, Needle Fiber, but that's why typically this play is backed up with a Negate anyways. So this is, like I said, just a basic one card combo that is like Pen Summon Harmonizer. The most basic of combos. Wow. Uh, and also, let's not forget, O5 actually also adds a Harmo back to hand. So actually the card that you use for the combo, you get back in hand with for a follow up. But it's just one card. And typically, like, like Baron de Vore, pop your own double iris. 
if you if you tip if you like how it was normally where you couldn't get a pen graph as well like it's very easy for this deck to get a pen graph out in the field with the brown de floor to protect the actual scythe play does that make sense yes like the whole point of the deck is set up scythe set up a baronis to protect the scythe and then if you don't have access to the baronis first just make the baronis afterwards and 99 percent of the time you're going for pen graph and then your opponent you literally i'm telling you think of all the decks in the meta that are good they're not doing anything even drytron drytron they can play do ben 10 shenanigans but what are they actually doing they're actually passing their turn with three uh two thousand zero defense monsters drytrons with a ben 10 on the field that's boosted by Idaton. all right it doesn't do anything nothing in this format that's a good deck does anything against scythe that is why baron's the floor is 150 dollars right now you know how much it is bro yeah, I, something I, like that, right? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Like, like it's, why it's so expensive? That this side combo, I'm so surprised that not every deck is playing it. It is so absolutely broken that it's blowing my mind, and it's why I'm gonna win the YCS with it. Let's go, Steve. I believe you 100%. Any last words? Yes. For this deck. That's all I gotta say, baby. Let's go. What does that say? Like, what does that say? Uh, it says uh, Trip is winning the YCS oh, Pasadena, and he doesn't he doesn't even have an a sign up yet. He's still winning. Let's go, Steven. All right, Steve, thank you so much for your neck profile, man. Super duper awesome. Guys, please check out Trip Gaming in the link in the description box below. Uh, Steven, you also stream, right? Yeah, yeah, I also stream on Twitch as well. So you guys can check that out, it'll be awesome. Everything is Trip Gaming, right? Yes. On Twitch and YouTube. Yes. All right, it's your boy Sam from Team San Sam signing out with Trip. All right, guys, peace.